Hey guys, welcome to Kanni's classes, Concept Simplified just for you. This is yet another 10 MCQ session in NET JRF Home Science series. And today let's see 10 MCQs part 2 in textiles and apparel designing. For all people who prepare for NET Home Science exams, I'm sure this 10 MCQ session will really help you to learn more concepts in less time. If you are seeing this channel for the first time, then immediately subscribe to Kanni's classes and press the bell icon nearby to get notified whenever I post a video. Follow my telegram channel to get simplified notes for net home science syllabus. And come, let's move on to the MCQs. Question number 11. Which of the following is not a primary property of fiber? Strength, flexibility, cohesiveness or resiliency? See, when we see the primary property, we have five primary properties that is high length to width ratio and good uniformity. That is the fiber should be, uni all fibers should be uniform in shape and they should have good strength, flexibility and cohesiveness. That is the ability of the fiber to cling with each other and in that case, Resiliency is the only property which is not a primary property, it is a secondary property. And what is resiliency? That is a property where even after bending, the fiber should be able to regain its original shape. That is the resiliency. It is a secondary property of the fiber. So the answer is D, that is resiliency is not a primary property of fiber. Question number 12. What is the image of cotton in microscope? Straight yarn, flat twisted yarn, spirally twisted ribbon or basic fabric? Each and every fiber can be studied under microscope and their structure can be understood. When we see the cotton under microscope, we can see a spirally twisted ribbon like structure. You can see in the picture, it is a spirally twisted ribbon. If you see for wool, it will be a, a scaly structures under microscope and if you see a silk fiber, it will be a thin rod like structure. Similarly, each and every fiber can be studied under microscope. Now here the answer is the image of cotton in microscope is C that is spirally twisted ribbon like structures. Next question number 13 match the following. Here we have a list of crosses in list 1 and uh, the keywords in list 2 we have to match the word. In list 1 we have knits, ovens, felt and lace. First let's take ovens that is nothing but weaved ones. So in weaving what we do we have a set of longitudinally running yarns and other set of which is warp yarns and uh, uh, other set of yarns which will run horizontally they are called weft yarns. And in the process of interlacing, they will be interlaced at right angles. They produce a net like structures and we call them as fabric. We get the fabric that way. So they are for B, the option is warp and weft. In that case, we can guess the answer. If for B it is 3, then it, the answer should be C. But let's discuss the other options also. Next, let's see knits. In knits, we have two set of yarns. They will be interlocked, not interlaced. Here, it will be interlocked. And here, the two set of yarns are called veils and courses. Veils are the vertical columns of the stitches, whereas courses are the horizontal rows of the stitches. So here, the threads will be, the yarns will be interlocked. And... Uh, for felt, it is a web-like structure uh, made of wool fibers held together by interlocking the scale of wool fibers. Here also it is interlocked but what is the difference is that here the fibers are interlocked, not the yarns. Okay, So the felt is made, felting is done. And lace, it is an open work. Here many yarns are used so it is made from many yarns and it is open work fabric with a, a complex pattern of figures. So the designs will be so intricate. So the answer is A it is 
veins and courses and ovens is warps and webs for felt it is web structures and for lace it is a open work the answer is c that is 4 3 2 1 Question number 14, what do you mean by color fastness? It refers to resistance of color, refers to fadeness of color or washing of clothes or lightening of colors. See, color fastness is the ability of a fabric or garment to hold its color even after the subject to any chemical or mechanical treatment. Like if you have a garment and it, if it is able to hold its color even after washing it with heavy detergents or even after sun drying it, then that property of holding the color is called color fastness. So the answer is A, that is color fastness refers to resistance of color. Question number 15, what does GSM stands for? GSM stands for gram per square meter. The answer is D. It refers to the metric measurement of the weight of a fabric. The higher the GSM number, the denser the fabric will be. For example, a linen shirt with 180 to 200 GSM would be thick, whereas the shirt that is any cotton shirt with 130 or 150 GSM will be very thin or airy or flimsy. So the answer is D that is gram per square meter. Question number 16, which among the following presents the fashion cycle, innovation, acceleration, decline and obsolescence? Any fabric or sorry, any garment or any design will be in fashion for some time and it will go out of fashion. So what happens is that any garment or any design, if it is innovated for the first time, that is the first step and there will be a rise where every people will know about that design or that kind of sari and there will be an acceleration, there will be a peak. Where everybody, wherever you go, people will be wearing that kind of sari or that kind of blouse. So, they will bring more variations in that design itself. That will happen. After some time, what happens is that there will be a decline. That kind of blouses or that kind of saris will go out of fashion. And nobody will prefer to wear that. And after some time, what happens is that there will be an obsolescence. That is rejection. When it goes out of fashion, nobody will prefer to wear such kind of sari or such kind of blouses for any function or parties. So that design will no longer exist. This is the fashion cycle. So if we see that then innovation, acceleration, decline and obsolescence all presents the fashion cycle. The answer is D that is all of these. Question number 17. What does the word shawl mean? Draper, cloth, dupatta or woven woolen fabric. The word shawl is derived from a Persian word. That is shawl. S-H-A-L. Shawl. It means woven woolen fabric. So the answer is woven woolen fabric. So, shawl is a fabric which is draped across the shoulder to provide protection against the cold. Here you have to notice another point. It is a woven woolen fabric. So, the woolen threads are here weaved, not knitted. So, it is the woven woolen fabric. The answer is D. The next question is which among the following comes under the principles of design? Harmony, evaluation, texture, finishing. While studying fashion and fashion cycles you could have studied the principles of design there are five principles of design and they are harmony balance rhythm emphasis and proportion these are the five principles of design so, which among the following comes under the principles of design? It is A, that is harmony. Question number 19. While washing cotton fabrics, color can be prevented from bleaching by using vinegar. It is a very direct question. We all could have studied cotton fabrics. The colors can be prevented from bleaching by using the 
common salt? So the answer is D, common salt. The last question, which organization issue EcoMark, National Testing Agency or Food Security India Limited or Indian Standardized Formulation or Bureau of Indian Standards? This is also a direct question only. EcoMark is issued by BIS, that is Bureau of Indian Standards. This was first introduced in the year 1991 and EcoMark is issued by uh, BIS as a certification mark for the products which are ecologically safe according to the standards prescribed by them. And uh, many products uh, are coming under this eco mark like food, medicine, chemicals, electronic goods, paper, etc. Lubricating oils and kind of that. So the eco mark is issued by BIS, that is Bureau of Indian Standards. The answer is D. So that's all for this MCQ session guys. You can watch and learn from few other 10 MQ sessions by clicking the link that appear on the top of the screen. And if you find this video useful, then don't forget to like, share and comment how you feel about this video. Follow my telegram channel for more simplified notes regarding the net home science syllabus. And also follow the FB and Insta page for regular updates. Subscribe to Karni's classes and press the bell icon nearby and get notified with the videos that I upload. See you all in next video. Bye for now. Thank you.